Oh, you can see them perfectly. Oh my god. What did I just watch? Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? This video recently surfaced and went viral on the internet for all the wrong reasons. Oh, you can see them perfectly. Oh my god. From the video, it appears to be that there's a group of men attacking a bus driver on a school bus in front of kids. Like what? Like who, who does that? You can't be in the right mind and go ahead and do something like this. So from the research that I did, from what I saw on the internet, it appears that this bus driver is a Muslim Palestinian man who works at the Multicultural Academy in Michigan. There are kids that go to the school that are Syrian refugees. It is said that the man loved helping people and he wanted to help Syrian refugees and therefore he was driving these kids to and from school on a daily basis. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, these men jump into the bus and attack him and beat him unconscious. First of all, I don't know if these men knew him. I don't know if they knew each other, if there was a whole history there. I don't know what the backstory is. It appears that there is none, there is no history or backstory or whatnot. I don't know. But in this case, that doesn't matter. In this video, all we can see is a bunch of men attacking a bus driver on a school bus filled with children. They beat a man in front of children with no regard, no concern for the children and the, ki the kids watching or their well-being. And to make matters worse, these kids are Syrian refugees. They left a war-torn country. And now that they've arrived to a safer environment, a safe place, and then they are subject to this. They are exposed to that on their way to school to obtain an education. Wow. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Like, I don't know what's happening to this world. And just in case you didn't think this was bad enough, one of the men can be heard yelling, lights out. Really? Lights out? Makes you sound tough, doesn't it? Makes you feel real tough knocking out a bus driver in front of a bunch of children. Must make you feel like a real man. What else do you do in your spare time? Do you go home and beat your wife too? You seem like the kind of man who would do something like that. For this man who was stomping on the bus driver and yelling lights out, just a reminder to you, watch out. Because in life, what goes around comes around. And sooner or later, whether you get arrested or whatever happens, sooner or later, your lights might be turned off too. <sighs> Man, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like, I don't know if this, like, I don't know if this was racially motivated because they can tell that, like, the guy was Arab or something or Muslim. I don't know if this was xenophobic because of his religion. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know what to say at this point. This is extremely sad. It's extremely disheartening. It's one of the one of the more most unfortunate videos I've seen in a while. Like we've seen videos where Muslims get attacked, but then for this to happen on a school bus in front of children. I don't know, man. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. That's really all I can say right now. However, this story isn't all doom and gloom. There is a little bit of a happy ending. Muslims of the world have started a GoFundMe campaign a little while back and I don't know if you've seen Muslims of the world before. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, very well known, very popular. They started a GoFundMe campaign to help with any ongoing expenses and the fact that the man suffered injuries and was unable to work for a period of time until he recovered from the injuries. They were able to raise $20,000 and deliver it to him personally. Guys, we just got to school, Ahmed and I. We're about to surprise the teacher. We have some of the students that were on the bus. They're gonna bring in this $20,000 check. Mr. Muhammad has no idea. He's sitting in a classroom waiting for us. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Ribhi. How are you? My name is Sajjad Shah. I'm the founder of Muslims of the World. And we heard about your incident. We watched the video. We saw what happened. Um, so we are basically, we have a gift for you from some of the students here. We uh, shared the video on social media and it ended up getting thousands and thousands of views. And today we have some of the kids here today that were on the bus with you. And uh, this is for however you want to spend it. Alhamdulillah, Muslims all around the world, the Muslim community was able to come together for a single goal of helping a Muslim in need. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Indeed, with every hardship there is ease, with hardship there is ease. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.